Hello. Uh, this is Conscious Reality Creator. Welcome. You're obviously seeing a much different format. Um, so we're both at home. You all know Rick. So how are you doing, Rick? I'm doing great. I'm just loving my vacation. <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying the time being at home too. So uh, yeah, we weren't going to really make any videos during this time. It's obviously a totally different format. But um, for those of you that don't meet, I'm, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm usually behind the camera um, being part of making these videos. And Rick and I are really close friends. And he sent something in our um, chat group this morning. And I just felt, let's get on Skype or Zoom or whatever we're on. And I'd like him to talk about that. So um, I'll read what he sent that instigated us wanting to make this video. He wrote, reality is splitting. Going to the left or right is part of the old paradigm, red pill, blue pill. Now you have to act in making a more complex choice, one which you have the best of both pills and none of the negative attributes of either. Neo conquered his negative ego. Now you can be fully self-authored within the matrix. Create your own narrative and stick to it. You don't need to take any aspects of the current narratives, but definitely freely imagine it and support that vision with only choices that will lead you there. The steps to getting there are the qualities of being there. The future creates the present. Yeah, you know, I like it. <laughs> I like it too. Perfect. So let's get into it. So uh, I wrote down some questions to ask. So the first thing I'll say is that I've known Rick for a few years now. I studied with him for three months and it changed my life. And I feel I'm so lucky to be in this position right now to have basically learned under you. I don't know how else to say it, <laughs> but to just to, to become self-authored and to become a spiritual adult. Like I have such a gift right now being in this quarantine. I, I'm so excited to have this time to just regroup, make choices, imagine the future. It's just been such an amazing time. So I wanted to mention that from the, I guess, beginning of knowing you, you've always said that reality is going to split. You would always say that reality is splitting and that's how you started this off. So why did you say reality is going to split? Well, evolution is an upward causation spiral with with the way that it operates, it's just more. The universe, or the planet, I should say, is continuously creating more space and more weight. Every single thing is growing constantly and getting bigger. So technically, everything is in an upward causation. Everything's allowing more room for each self. Everything's moving in that way. So it's kind of hard when we've been taught to think logically and linearly that things move this way. They don't move this way, they move this way. <laughs> An exponential kind of growth. And so when consciousness gets to the point to be self-authored, which that's what being enlightened is, is just to be in a position of understanding, this is all a reflection of me and it's not me. It's both are happening. Because if you just say one, well, I get, I can act like any way I want. If you're all an illusion, who cares? I can do and say whatever I want right? It's not really that simple. Yes, this is 100% your experience and they're having 100% their own experience and you're sharing an experience. So we have impact on each other because if we didn't have impact on each other, we wouldn't be able to express love. You wouldn't see love coming at you. You wouldn't, you would just see yourself. So it's more complex than only yourself, but your measuring devices are yours the way that you are structured. So the reason it's splitting is because humanity has been a state of adolescence since the Renaissance. The Renaissance was the inner adolescent waking up to its free will. So they call that the golden age. It really wasn't, but when you're a teenager, it seems like when you start getting hair everywhere, this is the golden age. I'm like amazing and I, my parents don't know anything and I could change the world, you know, this whole feeling. Well, the Renaissance was that for humanity. So the adolescent has been moving evolving but the adolescent sees everything in black and white it's yes no you're with me you're against me you're on the right you're on the left you're on. so this dichotomy of black and white that's been going on forever it was okay earlier in time and space it worked fine but now it's impossible to just say the news is fake is it fake is it not fake whose perspective is it it's so convoluted now and it's doing that because you've got to change paradigms 
So the paradigm's breaking down. So trying to go red pill, blue pill, neither one is really the right choice. You can't really get out of the matrix. You get out of the matrix when you die. <laughs> so you're technically want to learn how to be self-authored in the matrix. So reality splitting because since we're not adults, like as a humanity, we're moving from adolescence to adulthood. The adolescent usually freaks out and goes into massive control. Like everybody did when they went to college and left home, they were freaking out because I have to grow up now. I have to, I have to pick something to do. I have to make money. I have to, so there's this panic, right? So, but the adolescent doesn't understand how to come from values. So the adolescent just will continue a pattern until it breaks. And then that's why people have big breakdowns. It wasn't until I lost my job or I lost my wife or I lost my husband. And then I had to start over and I realized what I was doing. It, it's like you have to evolve to a conscious state. Consciousness never chooses either or. Because once you become conscious, you know, left or right isn't going to serve me. Right, why, why am I going to take that? It's not a black and white. It's a complex choice needs to be made the high side of two sides like politically we need to get the right and the left to communicate and the only way they're going to do that is like okay what values do you have that we could adopt what values do you guys have that we could adopt instead of dogma against dogma the adolescent just argues one dogma against the dogma same information repeating repeating you're no you're 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 angry 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 railing against railing against well that continual pattern will end eventually it'll end and when it ends the whole thing's breaking down the whole thing's breaking down because we weren't awake enough to know how to do it any better so in a way you're saying that you knew the reality was going to split because you saw the complexity occurring with well, it starting to break down i saw the split because i changed when i started being an adult i knew that reality was going to eventually start looking like people had to become adults. So many years ago, I started saying, oh, I'm adulting. Oh, I hate adulting. I don't want to, you know, all this adulting conversation kind of came around for a little. And for me, I'm watching reality and going, okay, people are starting to use the word. So I knew it was coming because it was showing itself. The changes I had made were starting to show and demonstrate, right? In your death experience, and for those that don't know, Rick had a death experience, and um, I'll link that video down below for you guys to know more about that. But when you died, was there something about this split that was made apparent to you? Well, when I died, I had recognized that I had already become enlightened. I knew it because I could see by the way, hmm. Put it this way, you can't return and reincarnate yourself unless you're enlightened. The only way you're going to reincarnate yourself is when you're enlightened. And I knew I was enlightened and I, and I knew it. I wasn't being arrogant. I knew it and I was able to say so. I'm enlightened, right? So when I died, I recognized, oh, I got to this point where I don't really have to go back. But on the other hand, I have this awareness and it'd be cool to go back. I mean, who goes back? Nobody in my reality I ever met had actually reincarnated themselves. I mean, I read it in the Bible. I heard about it, but I never really met anybody. And so there was a part of me that realized when I saw the big picture, when I got outside the set, it was like, oh my God, I only had to go this much farther and everything was really going to change. Even though I changed enough and I had come to the realization, it hadn't demonstrated in physical reality. So when I came back and knowing I was so close to a change, but it's hard to tell, it ended up being like 14 years, but it felt like, oh my God, it's going to change like right now. It's all going to change right now. I know I can feel how much it's going to change. Well, it was 14 years of feeling like, wow, and watching it come about. And so when this happened, I just recognized the past. I said, wow, now it's demonstrating. People that don't want to be in her anymore are dying. You're talking about now with the virus. Yeah. Because like, like I said, this question was really formulated around the fact that ever since I've known you years ago, you were always like, there's a split coming, but it was always coming. Well, it has to demonstrate. And then I see I mean. it demonstrating. And so then now you've said, because like it's your language has changed. You used to say the split is coming and now you're saying it's here. The split. Yeah, it's here because there's very, there's a lot of layers energetically the fighting that's going on, another election, there's a person doing a fantastic job for this country. Look, I didn't like Trump at the beginning. I was like, what the fuck, really? 
you know, but I also recognized immediately because I'm awake. I immediately recognized I cannot think like this. And so I watched him and I was like having trouble, you know, and, and then it started clicking and I was like, no, I have to support this person. We have to trust the system now. America is designed, it's an alchemical process, our constitution, to empower someone to enlighten someone if you followed if you follow like right now if we trusted it and said look i don't know maybe i have a lot of feelings about this guy but given our system or he was elected in due process i have to say that reality is giving me what i want with this guy whatever he's pushing me inside to get beyond and so the adolescent is screaming for a lot of people donald trump is a bad father figure they don't like the way he's talking they don't like the way he's treating people on camera in the meantime, all the fake news is really just bothering him all the time. He's dealing with it constantly. You can't really say the media isn't fake. They, it is so much proof of it on YouTube all day long, all over how much yeah. they're lying. So yeah. why bother to even watch it anymore? It's like having a lover who's like lies all the time. You just really can't get into them because you know they're full of shit, no matter how good the sex is. Well, something that I thought about recently over the last week was actually, because I know that you are fully in support of the president, and I know that that shocks a lot of people in the spiritual world or anybody that thinks they're smart. But I was thinking this week, it's like, you've always said, because I'm a conscious reality creator. And so when you, whenever you've said that, I'm a conscious reality creator, so I'm going to support what's going on right now. And I'm going to get- process the negative stuff in But what I think is really interesting is, I think I also know as a conscious reality creator, we're always evolving forward. We're never going backwards. And so if we're evolving forwards and we are clearly at a paradigm shift, we all put him in there, regardless of whether you voted or not, because I didn't vote for him. But it's like, if you're trusting that you are a God being and reality is moving in favor and going towards magic, it's like, we're at the pinnacle, like you said, and this is what's here. So like, we have to trust on some level that like, we are moving forward. I must believe that because I know it's true. Yeah, exactly. You have to know. Th that's why part of being an enlightened person is get to the place where you understand that you're a conscious reality creating person. And then you have to accept yourself like, hey, me too. Like looking back, I could have done this better, but I couldn't really. I, I'm always doing my best. I'm always consciously creating. I mean, it's my real time process. But at the same time, like, wow, look, I created a, a virus. I didn't create it because it wasn't conscious, but I allowed it. I allowed a virus. I allowed the whole country to be shut down. I'm allowing us going down financially. I mean, I'm allowing all this stuff. It's hard. But at the same time, I'm like, I know I'm doing the best I can do. I know I'm doing the best I can do, and I'm not going to diminish it. I'm not going to negative judge any aspect of it. If I feel myself getting worked up, I need to change the way I'm measuring experience and get back to my set to get back to the future that I want to see us, right? That's that phrase is, is what it's saying. It's like, you need to stay with your own narrative. You cannot, the society, the gut, everything is telling you that there isn't a narrative that you can believe fully out there. There is none. That's because it's splitting. You see, now what's happened is it's splitting in two. So which way do I go? Left, right, left, right. If you're not supposed, as long as you stay, which way do I go? You're stuck in pain. Because you have to reality, create your own path, always. Yeah. Say again? I said, you have to create your own path. Because it is true. Like yeah. in all the texts that I have outside of our group, it's like, this is happening. Be afraid of this. This is happening. Make sure that doesn't happen. And it's like, it's really just fear based it's control the adolescent always goes into control because yeah. they don't have a set of values they haven't had the experience like when humanity woke up and said whoa free will we it's all about will screw the feminine feelings and paganism and all that do free will can do it all we have to do is fire up the spirit inside and the spirit will give me a raw, 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 raw masculine and it was a beautiful thing but it a certain kind of thinking was not receiving the feminine. It's like we're running with one hand tied behind our back while we're growing and we're having a great time because we don't really need, I'm mostly right-handed anyway. I don't really need this hand. It's like, in a sense, not balanced. So what's happening is it's splitting because it's forcing you. You're either going to choose a dream or you're going to choose a nightmare right now. And if you're not able to understand, you're going to get, those are going to be the, the parameters, the dream and the nightmare. 
and I'm going to be fluctuating somewhere in the middle of mediocrity. Well, yeah, it's true because it's like in all the conversations I'm having, again, outside of our group, it's like, well, let's look at the data. I'm definitely going to lose my job. I'm definitely going to have this and that. And it's like, well, you know what? Hey, anybody can lose their job right now. Let's be honest. Anybody can die right now. Let's be honest. And so that's why it's like, like you said, you better start imagining. You better start creating that future. So every day when I'm going into meditation, it's like I am seeing my future. And my future, I don't know what I'm doing for work, but I'm certainly living a life as if I had a nice one. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, and I believe it, and I'm fueling that. Um, well, and you're processing anything that you feel as if you wake up tomorrow and you're having a bunch of inhibition, inhibitive visions in the future, like, oh, I'm scared, I'm this, I'm that. You got to get that out. You can't just deny and go, no, I'm going to get back onto my path. I don't care. That's not going to happen. Oh, it could happen if you don't unplug it. It's unplug it and get back on your vision. Get, you got to learn how to process to do that. And every day is a new day. Every day is a new information. Every day it's changing. And every day it's an expansive change. Even if you're trying to stay the same, that's what creates pain. People aren't changing. So now reality is finally saying, okay. Let's pull your training wheels off and see which way you lean. If you lean into the dream, you're going to lean into the dream. And you're going to have to know that that's my dream. It's going to have to be, I'm going to have to find the values. I'm going to have to find the exciting emotions that I want to hang on to. If I just buy into what the media is giving me and buy in, they're, they're, the media right now is trying to take your dreams away. Yes. That's all they're doing is take your dream away. Trump cannot be the dream. He's awful for us. No, vote for Biden, even though the guy's totally fucked up, better than that guy, black or white. And to see the tension on the choice now, that is not an empowered choice. Empowered choices never come out of either or. They have to be a complex choice that defines me. Otherwise, you're just going to be banging back and forth and be miserable. You, and the thing is, the internet has enabled you to get so much information. You can get so much support or so much unsupport for any topic you want and so right people post what they feel and then the article's crappy and everybody gives people shit why are you posting this crap on facebook it's just the way i'm thinking <laughs> you know what i mean and if you recognize the way they're thinking you'll realize they're usually afraid and they're throwing the past out in front we're gonna relive this this is gonna happen if we don't do this that's the adolescent controlling with the only information they have is the patterns that somebody else gave them yeah. Enlightenment is to be free author, yeah. self author. And so anyway. Yeah. So my next question. So back to what you wrote, <clears throat> you said we have to let go of the old paradigm, but bring something positive with us. And so we have to take the best of both worlds. I think that that might be, even for me, like I was talking to Grace this morning, Grace is Rick's wife. And we're like, how do you synthesize that? How do we let go completely of the old, but take something from they're positive. How do we, yeah, like, how do we, how do we do that? Well, you're, you're in chaos right now. And chaos is a breaking of routine. As soon as my routine's broken, I'm like, what the hell? How do I get up? When do I get up? Where do I get my, duh, right? And so a split is going to cause chaos. Now, if I decide I'm going to say what I'm going to change, I'm going to get up different. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And this is the way I'm going to run my life. Not like, what do I do now? Sit in the house and watch, binge watch TV. I don't know. And so right now people are starting getting edgy. They're like, this is bullshit anyway. Let's all get out of our houses. That's the adolescent been on restriction for a couple of weeks to them. And they're freaking out. Let's get out. This is bullshit. I checked the hospitals. Everyone's checking the hospitals. You're, 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 you're missing the point. You're supposed to still be breaking your pattern. And you're trying to go back to the old pattern. And you can't. You can't go back. So reality is saying, nope, stay in the house. And though the adolescent's getting mad, like, you can't tell me to stay in the house. And I don't care if I get sick. I'll deal with it. But it's then like, there's the other person that's doing it on the other end, which is afraid of everything. Yeah. So really, it's, it's one, either or. The adolescent Those are the them. people that are snitching on the people now that, that are going outside. Yes. You know, and they're trying to find people to snitch on each other now because there's plenty of adolescents that'll do that feel sorry for myself because I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. So the world's a better place, but I'm pissed sitting at home, but I'm getting through it. I'm not going outside. I'm not doing that. And so all the negative judgment, which is the same thinking of separation and you're putting yourself in pain because I don't want to snitch anybody out, but just do what you want to do. 
just do your thing and don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Because if you do your own thing, you're going to feel good about what you're doing. And that's going to keep you from getting sick more likely. So then back to how to bring the positive, but drop the old paradigm. Well, if you say like, what was the positive of the blue pill? And what was the positive of the red pill? Can you share what? Well, let's just say, if one, I get out of the matrix. Well, the downside is that is you're not going to have a job. You're not going to have anything taken care of you for you anymore. When you get out of the matrix, you're going to be by yourself. I mean, it's like, who wants to be out of the matrix when everybody else is in the matrix? Why don't you just ju fly around the matrix, jump around? Like, let me utilize this matrix. Cause if it's so cool and fake, it's an illusion. It's an illusion anyway. We all know that. Why don't I just run the illusion like God? And at the end of the thing, he flies around and oh, the whole thing vibrates and it's all fluid and flexible because reality really is. You know, but the thing is, it's like you have to define by my values what things am I going to keep out of the blue pill? What things am I going to keep out based on my values? Like, yeah, I like the security. I mean, it's kind of nice the way the matrix is working. For you me, know? it's travel because I know like when this all started, people are like, it's going to change. We're never going to travel. Like, and for me, I'm thinking, oh, I'd like to take that with me. I'd really like to. Yeah. You want the world the more free, more open. Yeah. Because I know there's so many people talking about technology, technology, bad, bad. And so it's like, that is one thing I'm so grateful for. Yes, we've done. Same thing. A lot. That's a good point. Yeah. Technology is copying everything. It's listening to everything we're saying. Mm -hmm. Who cares? If you're, it's in your values, like for me, I want the world to be more graceful, more elegant. I'm like, bring the, the self-driving trucks, bring the self-driving cars. Nobody really wants to do that job anyway. I mean, hey, if you drive for UPS, you make good money. And I'm not saying it's a bad job, but that's really where you want to spend the bulk of your time in a truck, going back and forth to people's houses for eight hours a day for a paycheck. I mean, that's not really expressing a person who they are. Nobody needs to do that anymore. Well, it's because you think more advanced than the average person, though, because when you say, like, I like all these things, let's do that. For most people in the adolescent framing, they think by doing that, they're decimating nature. And it's like, yeah. I know you personally. Because they're looking at the universe is going nature. this way instead exactly. of this way. And so you're because always like, I love nature. And you are always honoring and respecting the planet like I I love it. The way that you talk to your plants and take care of them. Like there's number, nobody that cares more about nature than I've seen with you. And so I think it's important for people to see that you've always said the adult is complex. You can have both, but the adolescent keeps thinking, well, if we have that, then the nature's getting ruined. And you're always like, let's be forward yeah. thinking. How yeah. can we let's do it? get rid of cars because we're ruining right. nature. No, it's we're like, not. Well, we just have to plant more trees so nature can clean more air and, you know, and do the right thing. Like plastic, we don't want to get rid of plastic. Plastic is awesome. It's that we're not respecting and valuing how much grace it brings into our life, right? So people, the adolescent can't even hear that. I don't want to know that. I don't want to know it could be good. I just want to stop it. I don't want to see another turtle with a straw stuffed up his nose. That's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible that you're not taking care of the, your planet. You're not taking care of the things you use. There's no value and it's trash. It's not trash. You could use a freaking straw for a year probably if you wanted to, if you just kept it. You know what I mean? It's like, there's all kinds of solutions. Yeah. Other than nobody gets plastic anymore because you don't know what to do with it. No, you don't know what to do with it. And you're mad about it. it it's like, and so these black and white sweeping decisions, no more tax, no more people doing that. No more. It's sweeping. The adolescent wants to try to get rid of the chaos. So it's just making just anything to just, okay, I got A done, B done, C done, D done. And now I have to ride a bike 20 miles to work. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to do it because it's the right thing to do. But the whole 20 miles, I'm yelling at people in cars and hating on people in cars and thinking they're polluting my air while I'm riding my bike with my mask. It's like, that's not a solution. That's not a quality life. But the adolescent's like, well, then what do we do? You have to stop thinking like the universe is in a state of decline. Age, you're not in a state of decline. You're in a state of complexity. It's like the whole linear thinking has to change. That's why we got down to two choices. We're going to have a dream or a nightmare right now. And I can't tell which. I can't tell if they're going to do a good thing recording everything that, I mean, look at if the thing recorded everything you were eating and everything you did, it would know why you were sick. 
it would know why you didn't feel good. The, 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 what could happen for all of us on the high side is the most elegance humanity's ever had. But or, we've got to learn how to trust. Maybe that's one of the main things adolescent is. Well, that's doing. why they're not trusting our government. That's what I mean. But you it's have like to, once the vote is in, if I didn't like Trump, now I have to figure out how to like him. Because if I'm not supporting him, he dude's trying to do a good job with everybody just fucking punching on him every day, all day. And he's still doing a pretty good job as far as I'm concerned. Because I'm looking at a bigger picture. I've been a businessman and entrepreneur since before the word existed. I knew right when he started doing certain things with regulations, I was like, I know what he's doing. He's getting rid of the things that are keeping Americans away from being independent. You, we need to create jobs. We need to create things. We have to dig into the resources. We're, I'm not saying open all the parks because that's the out. Oh, just going to open all the parks and just do what you want. No, nobody said that. Yeah. But let's open up some ideas. Maybe we need to build cars simpler so they're cheaper so Americans can build the cars so we don't have to go to China. We need to have factories here again. But it could be automated. So much of it could be automated. Not, we don't need all these jobs anymore. The economy's gonna change. Everything's gonna change. Everything is changing in a paradigm shift. But it's like the adolescent doesn't know what to do because they're doing this instead of going, oh, I like that. I have to think about that. I think, you know what, if, yeah, if everybody did the right thing with the information, everything they're recording could make our lives amazing. But no, the adolescent says, yeah, but what are you keeping me from? What are you doing with all my information? Because you know, some of the things I'm doing, I really don't want anybody to know about because I'm in shame. <laughs> I'm not saying that they should be analyzing all the information either when I say this, but you need to be open to- I know what you're doing. Stuff. You're basically trying to make people understand the way of thinking. It's not even what you're saying. I know it's like you're challenging just the way a person thinks. Yes, and I think because they're all thinking black and white because they've yeah. trained. Logic and reason has taught you that. It's like when you see like a, I was trying to explain this to Grace this morning, like a triangle, right? And if you thought that triangle was going to go to infinity, you would draw it in this like, this twisty kind of shape that disappeared to nothing and go, that's infinity. No, that's not really infinity. That is a logical and reasonable explanation of what infinity might look like if I tried to draw it. But that is looking at the universe in a box. The universe is opening. You can't really look and think that's infinity. No, it's not. Infinity goes this way. It doesn't go this way. Mm, you cool. see what I mean? That's just a drawing. That's really not the truth because the whole thing is opening. Technically, you'd have to draw a triangle with maybe three tiny curves and open. The future is open until you decide where you want to go. And then if it's an opening or maybe I'm going somewhere like now, that seems to me everything is fucked up. I'm I'm at home without a job and any money. What the fuck? It's like, yeah, you're starting over because you didn't know how to start over consciously. Yes. And since humanity's never started over without destroying ourselves, like Lemuria and Atlantis and several civilizations that we're aware of, mm -hmm. <laughs> have just constantly destroyed ourselves. This time we're not going to do that. That's why I came back because I recognized, oh my God, this is the time for me to really have some impact. You know, 10,000 years ago, nobody's gonna remember me, but I know what I did. I know I'm taking humanity and moving it in a new direction because that's what I came back for. And so I'm just sharing a process. I don't care if anybody follows me. I don't care if anybody listens. I'm just putting a perspective out there from a knowing. I didn't get this from a book. Yeah. This is a knowing and experience. It's not that I'm just talking through my ass about a bunch of books I read from other people from a hundred years ago. This is now. Yeah. What is happening? What was I changing in myself? What is showing up? And how can I articulate that to people from healing myself to get here? Mm -hmm. Right now, people are having to like heal. I got to figure it out. And I'm under massive duress when they're really not. They're at home. Even Trump even gave you a check to relax. Oh, maybe it's not enough money. I need more. Dude, have you ever gotten a check from nothing from the government before? Like, it's working out nicely. We're You've talking. told me from the beginning, it's like, you've done all the work now, receive. It's time to receive. Yeah, I'm here to receive who I am. 
I'm not going to frame it that way. And if I can't frame it that way, I'm going to take out what's keeping me from framing it that way. Not just keep reframing, like reframe, yeah. reframe, ah, reframe. It's all great. We're all in peace and harmony. It's going to be fine. And then you're panicking, you know, your hair's falling out at home and you're, you look like shit and you're not doing anything because you're <laughs> looking at me anyway. It's like all the adolescent. All right? yeah. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm not saying I got my shorts on right now. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to your quote or your message. So my next question was about Neo, because you said Neo conquered his negative ego. Right. That's what, what was the dude's name with the glasses that was always appearing? What was his oh, name? The, the bad one? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. That's his negative ego, right? Mm -hmm. He keeps trying to figure it out and he keeps coming and he beats him and he has to learn to beat him and he has to learn to beat him and eventually he conquers him and he doesn't have any power over him. No matter how fast you go, I can imagine past a machine. A machine, no matter how fast it goes, still has to move linearly. A human being can make a vast jump with the imagination and supersede any outcome the machine could have figured out. A machine will never keep up with the imagination. So he just imagined himself going faster. Of course, he'd get an input because the adolescent needs. Well, how did he do it? Well, he could have just done it with his imagination, but it wouldn't have made a very good movie <laughs> because he would have just been, you know, just drinking my tea while I'm fighting the dude. That is released of the negative ego. You're trying to frame it, and I'm not buying it. That's what that represented. And it was really cool, too, because Dylan, he responded in the group text basically saying that Neo was told by, by the Oracle that he wasn't the one, but he still went back. And I think that so perfectly fits with what you wrote, because you're like, you need to be self-authored now. Yes. And so to be self-authored, to leave the matrix, we have to let our negative ego go. So can you like explain a little bit about your understanding of why that was? Like, why was he told he wasn't the one? Because he was. We're because all the you one. have to... You cannot follow, you cannot make a paradigm shift and carry the same th thinking. Before he woke up, he had to have something in the future. You're the one. I'm the one. I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be. And then you have to get to a place where, no, nope, you're not the one. Sorry. And then he has to say, no, motherfucker, I can be the one. He didn't let the negative ego, because um, that's what Grace told me. He didn't let the negative ego exactly. take the feedback and then contextualize it to push him down. And see, she did that in order for him to be empowered, because he yes. wouldn't be empowered. The adolescent has to break. Mm -hmm. you, get shoved, you get caught as an adolescent. That's why when you first hit puberty, you're like, it's great, it's great. And then somebody rips your heart and you're never the same. You have to overcome that cut. That's what she was doing when she said, no, nope, you're not the one. <gasps> oh my God, I thought I was the one. No, I'm not the one. Self-pity, self-pity. I feel sorry about myself. Don't ask me. I'm not the one. She told me, leave me alone, right? And then he realized I have to do, I can do it. I can, I know I can do it, right? He had to be self-authored. So in order for a paradigm to shift to happen, there has to be a cut. So she just cut him. She cut him from the original idea. The original idea, you came here to be a God being. But when you come into physical existence, you get cut. You get cut when you get out of your mom's womb because now you have to be separate and figure it out. You have to know you're a God being. It's your, you, you, you don't have to heal anything, really. You just have to know you're a God being and drop it all. Now, of course, that's hard to do. So you have a bunch of tools to help yourself get there. All these processes that I'm telling people are just ways of certain people are stuck with that. Some people aren't stuck with that, but some people are. And so once I get that, I start being able to be more self-authored. They're just tools to become self-authored. But if you could just say, hey, I'm going to live off a set of values that I decide, as long as you know that and, and, there, and all the information that anybody needs to know is already in our previous videos. And I'll link down any kind of more critical components of this video we're talking about i'll link those videos below. and a lot i already have a video about the virus so we're talking about okay the virus there's already a video about that you know yeah and i'll um go I'll ahead remember. so i was gonna say what would you what advice would you give then to people right now because you basically stated in your in your text to us that we need to conquer the negative ego right now to fully move forward so well, what you at least forward? have to understand your misery is coming from that your negative ego is using your negative constructs against you. Like President Trump, everything he says is pissing me off. Some people are literally, they can't even, 
can't even say anything. I just, this last week, I decided I'm deleting people like crazy. I've deleted so many people off my page this week just by things that they're saying and the way they're looking at life. I'm like, nope, I'm not here to teach you. I'm sharing, but you know what? I don't need you in my life to, to remind me of where I'm, what I'm leaving behind. Thank you very much, Dubai. Boom. Now, I processed a lot of stuff. I'm not just going, ah, they're assholes. I don't want to hear from them anymore. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying, look, you have heard my perspective long enough. If you're still going back to all this conspiracy theory stuff, if you're still going back to being feeling sorry for yourself and feeling and disempowered, pl playing weak, you're so weak, blaming, that's fine. But I am moving on. I'm going toward the dream. And I send you love and I get where you're at and I know that you're going to wake up. I know you're going to wake up because I am holding that. You will wake up. When? I don't know. I don't care. But I am holding that you will wake up because that's what you do when you're awake. You dream people awake. You don't tell them, wake the fuck up. What's wrong with you? No, that's an adolescent going, you better wake up right now. You know, that person shaking you has no idea what waking up is or they wouldn't be shaking somebody else to wake up. They're shaking themselves. They're freaking out. And so, yeah, you need to have a set of values. Watch the spiritual adult, right? We have that, right? Spiritual adult. Yeah, yeah. Watch yeah. that video. Yeah. If you're stuck right now, do that work. You will start getting unstuck. Quit watching TV. Don't worry. Just listen to the president and trust our system. We have to trust the American system. Yes, they've been a fucked up. Because we haven't responded as adults, our government is not an adult right now. It's a Pelosi and all this bullshit, them going back and forth. Pelosi should be supporting them, not trying to get him out of there, not trying to figure out a way. That's not working. That's the adolescent trying to control the environment to get the things done the way they want them done. Yeah, it's ironic to me that whenever I turn on the news, the news will talk about how Trump is playing politics and we should focus on the virus, but then all they do is, so it's like, that's what I mean. When you're from an adult position, you no longer are left or right. You can't. Yeah, do it's you like, care? Who cares if he dro owns part in the drug company that's curing this? Who fucking well, cares? It's just Finger point to finger point. It's yeah, finger well, point to I mean, point. who cares? Good for him. He's a businessman. He just happens to have the cure. What are you going to say now? Oh, well, he created the cure. No, I bet you he didn't. I bet you Bill Gates did or somebody else. I mean, you know what I mean? Whoever you want to think of. It could be Bill Gates. It could be Hillary Clinton. It could be Trump. I mean, who? where's the money? Let's follow the money. That's what the adolescent does. Follow the money. I'm fine to follow the money, but it's going to lead to a dead end every time because everybody knows everybody's following the money. So now they just give you disinformation about the money now. It's like, and then you're fucked up again. You're totally lost. Don't know what you're doing because you don't have a set of values. I got to come back to my values and go, where are my values? I mean, Trump is the president at a paradigm shift. If you get caught up in fighting and arguing about all this stuff, you're not going to be able to get inside and make the shifts you need to make to start living a dream. Because yeah. right now, the whole world is not going to come out of their houses the same. And we're not going to go back to what was. That's clear. For me, I love not having any traffic. I love how quiet it is in my neighborhood. You know, it's like, it's made me understand. I think I got to move out of, the, out of the city. It's time for me to get out of here. Because I'm recognizing how much I appreciate peace. That's what I got out of this. Like, wow, I really do like a lot more peace in my life. And see, I like to party. I like to go. I'm high energy. So it's easy for me to not think about peace and have a great time. Mm -hmm. But I know peace is a value of mine and I'm not really living it here. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying myself thoroughly. I'm not saying there's a problem. I'm just yeah. saying there's another quality that I could feel is very important to me and I'm not able, I'm not putting myself in an environment of peace, mm. like as a value. Mm. Maybe somebody doesn't have a value piece. Look, I mean, I, I like it here. I love my place. Really do love it here. It's hard because I'm not leaving something because I don't like it. I'm leaving something I love for something I'm going to love more. Not yeah. like, ooh, more this better. sucks. Blah, I'm out of here. A bunch of losers here. I got to get out in the woods. It's like, dude, you're going to be miserable out in the woods thinking like that. You're going to be the guy with your gun and like, what are you doing trespassing? I came out here to get away from you. You know, it's like, no, it's, 
I don't know if I answered a question now. Oh, we did. And then here's the next one. Um, to be honest, there's a lot of my questions now you've sort of answered. So really, I kind of want to go towards the end because you make two statements that I just love you to talk more about. Um, the steps to getting there are the qualities of being there. I love that. It's so beautiful. And I think even just somebody hearing it and not understanding what it means might feel it's beautiful. But what exactly does that mean? The steps to getting there are the qualities of being there. In order to be living a life that you enjoy, like, I love my life. I love where I live. I love what I'm doing. I love how I'm getting money. I love how my friends, I love everything. I love the food. I love everything. It's like, if you want to live in that, you're going to have to do that now. Yes. You're going to have to process whatever's in the way that I can honestly do that now. But the way that I'm going to do it now is by envisioning myself how happy I could be. Like, if I had a house like this and I had that, I would be happy. Well, if you were, treat your house that way. Treat your car with respect. Like, I was telling someone the other day, I was like, you're not even doing anything with your yard. I said, you're all about the earth and how everything, but your yard is dirt. It's like, why don't you... Do so. Well, I don't have time to do my yard. I say, well, that's a lie. But let's just say you don't have time. Why don't you come out and water the weeds? Water, let whatever's there grow. Just love the dirt. Love it. The dirt doesn't like to be in the sun. It likes plants to cover it up. It looks happier when it's green, doesn't it? Just go water the weeds. Just, and you might water the weeds and all of a sudden, maybe one of them looks good. Maybe you take care of that one a little better just to see what it's going to look like when it grows up. Just pay attention. Well, here's another way that I would- Steps to getting there, the qualities of being there. If I want beauty, I've got to be beautiful now. I've got to see what's beautiful now. I've got to create beauty now. And then I will constantly move into more beauty. It's not like I'm just waiting for things to be beautiful and then I'll do it. No, you have to see beauty. It's everywhere. Well, one thing I'll mention because I remember the- First time, well, for those that don't know me, I got into designer handbags a while ago. And so I was talking to Rick about all these designer handbags I wanted to get. And you basically said, yeah, go into your meditation and start building that closet that's going to like house all your purses. And so I remember I did this meditation. And then the next day I went to my mom's house and she just happened to have a vintage Fendi bag that was one that I wanted, the exact bag. So what I'm trying to connect is the steps to getting there are the qualities of being there. But what I know, the qualities of being there are the steps to get. You reverse like, the phrase. Yeah, because you've also told me how you get what you want is you imagine and you feel it. And I think people are familiar with that. And so it's true. It's like, of course, the steps to getting there are being here now and vice versa. Because once I started imagining like my closet and building it out, it almost took away the need to even have the form. Because yeah. truly, I felt I had it. It was like so real for me. So now it's like, that's what I know is that as long as you, but you really got to feel it. You're not just like making a vision board and hoping for it. Like I felt like I had that closet. I felt yeah. like I'm driving in my Mercedes. And therefore, I know it's bound to come. Yeah, you, also, what, you put an anchor in the future of what yeah. you wanted and emotions and the thoughts that go with it. That creates experience. And see if you say, well, when I see it, I'll do it. Well, where's it going to come from if it's a yeah. reflective experience? How am I going to create joy when I'm not feeling it now? Yes. I'm yeah. not connected to joy now, but I can see it. Yeah, but can you bring it in now? The steps yeah. to getting there are the qualities of being there. Yes. And the qualities are the steps. Yes. Whatever it takes for me to feel that way, whatever navigating, it's not going to be a straight line like you were told. It's going to be a curved line. You're going to throw a curved line out there and eventually you're going to catch up to it. Eventually you're going to get on that curve and that curve has to be understood. Like if you have a belief like that shit's not going to work, then don't do it because it ain't going to work. But you have to hear yourself say, that's not going to work. Why would you think that's not going to work when I can prove to you like with quantum physics that it should work? It's an illusion. It's based in our thoughts. Well, it's based in the way that you feel with your thoughts. It's not just how I think, because yeah. we could all think right now, let's drop a nuclear bomb somewhere right now. Let's think about it as hard as we can. 
But if I really felt that I wanted to destroy somebody and I really felt that I wanted them dead and I really was into it and I really, more likely that's going to happen. Far less than me just saying, I could drop a nuclear bomb on you. Blah. No, if I really imagine the destruction and I really imagine what it would do in the world and how, and there would be that part of me, the adolescent that just wants to break everything. Let's just break it all. That's what's happening now. The adolescent's been creating reality. And the adolescent doesn't know how to change from a high side. It only knows how to change when I have ran this thing into the ground. I've ran the system into the ground and well, that, now we got to do it different. Else. Rather than changing earlier from a positive, I just run out of space and then I'm forced to change and there's no empowerment. There's no empowerment when I'm forced to change because I don't have a choice. I got to do it now. That's not empowerment. It's no empowerment if I say it's this or this. That's not empowerment. Empowerment's when I have many ways that I could attack this model. If I get down to either or, I waited way too long to make my choice. Well, I think it's that like the shift from adolescence to adulthood usually comes through severe crisis. Like that's what brought me to you. I was forced to change, but not, I mean, I still chose, but to me, it did feel like this is it. It's now I'm at rock bottom. Right. Right. And so I think that's a good way to put it is that the new paradigm is changing without suffering. Yeah. The old paradigm not separating. Is, not yeah, separating from my friends, not separating from my government, not separating from my president. Like yeah. finding a way, like how can I support this guy? I have to, if I want my country to thrive, I can't be hating on the icon that directs it. Well, yeah, I'd say that's the biggest thing that most people would have to agree on because I know a lot of this might make people start splitting in their mind, but. Yeah, well, I want them to split. I know, I know. I know, and I'm just you acknowledging. You can cut this out if you don't like it either. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm, I'm just acknowledging that what we can't deny, no matter where you fall, but I think hopefully this video should help you understand, you don't want to be so black and white. You really want to get more complex. And so one thing I think we can agree on is the moment that he got into office, it was just clear we created change. It's yeah. so different. With Obama, what's the first thing he did? Hired a bunch of Monsanto people in his cabinet. He lost me in week two. Well, what I'm saying is all presidents for the last foresee foreseeable, I don't know if that's the right word, but in um, history, they're all the same people, though. They really are, regardless of which side you're on. We all knew it. That We all knew it. And so even though most people that may be watching this video might hate him or whatever, what I will say is it was obvious we chose something different. Yeah. We, we broke the pattern. We broke the play. And what came out? Shame. The first thing was coming out was all the racial stuff came out at Donald Trump's beginning. As soon as I saw that from a conscious reality, I'm like, wow, it's time to heal our shame. This country has to heal its shame if it's going to go into a new paradigm. And so it was a chance to heal our shame. It was a chance to look at it, really get inside and recognize what am I doing? How am I thinking about people? You know, what, what am I really doing that I, I, you know, I'm not really doing it. If, if we were doing it, honestly, we wouldn't have had to deal with shame. And since shame is hidden and shame is denied, everybody wanted to hide it. White people were like, oh, we need to give reparations to the black people because my ancestors weren't very nice. That's shame. You're now ashamed of being a white person and want to do anything to get out from under the shame. Yeah, you guys, uh, you know, I'm so sorry what we did. Same with the Indians. Oh, we did none of us did that don't say we <laughs> nobody here did that it was happened before let's deal with what is now what can we do to make things better if we can but, but it is true feeling the shame because that is passed down so yeah. even though we didn't do it we still took it on exactly. but we have to understand and process what did we take on it's yeah. shame it's anger it's a lot of disempowerment con and now what we did we got a bunch of mediocre business people the only po people anyone's in politics now is because they can make a lot of money in there and so these business people aren't even good business people that's why they hate trump trump is running over them nope not doing that we're not going to that paris accord no we're not giving our money and what we're the only ones yeah we're the only ones doing the right thing because america will do the right thing once they understand what's going on America doesn't always, like Winston Churchill said something famous once, so you can always count on the Americans doing the right thing once somebody points it out to them. <laughs> like once somebody shows them that you're not being honest, they're like, okay, you're right, let's not do that anymore. They don't do it always first. Mm -hmm. But we usually end up doing it. Like America is the best country. We're the best people, not better than anybody else. 
but we're a mixture of everyone. That's why we can't be beat. That's why we innovate. We have many different thinking modalities of people coming from immigrants. China can only think like Chinese. They might hire the Americans to think, but they don't know how to think like an American. Italians can't think like an American. They do things the way they do it, and they do it beautiful, but they just do it their way. America can just navigate all those different strategies and bring it into a whole. Well, what I'm actually thinking is maybe there's a lot of shame around winning. Because when you look at it, like the U.S. is truly the head of the free world. I mean, and not to say because... We change the world with our not about being the best, like you said. It's kind of just recognizing in a reality creation standpoint, like and nothing wrong with saying we're the fucking best. Right. We are. Beat us. Do better than us. Don't whine and try to make us tone ourselves down. Let's tone America down a little bit. They're just too egotistical. They're too into money. They're too. That's what we do. We we blaze the trail. We produce. You know, we take an idea, we bring it to Hollywood and make it look like it was our idea. Too bad. You can do it. Anybody can do it. But Chinese are stealing technology from their back door and then innovating and using it against us. It's like, dude, you can't do that anymore. We're not going to let you. And so he's, he, Trump knows what he's doing because I know business. And I'm like, I see what he's doing. But most people don't know anything about a business, including those idiot politicians. It was just so easy to get so much money. They just been in there working it. And now everybody knows they're not into you. They're not trying to help you. They're trying to act like they're helping you. That's why democracy doesn't work. Because all I have to do is promise you, I'll give you $15,000 a year free money. And you're going to be like, fuck yeah, I'll vote. And we all agreed. You got to give it, right? That's all you got to do in a democracy is promise enough stuff and people will run after it. Our system is designed to circumvent that. They can't just like all decide. It goes through a very, con the electoral is a complex way to break that democracy down because a democracy will not survive. Democracy will lead to socialism, will lead to communism. That's what happens. <laughs> it doesn't work. You're not a free person. You're not free to make up your mind. You're not free to do what you want. Americans need to clean up the streams because we want to and it's the right thing. Not because we put a law in and you can't do that anymore. They do it anyway. Better to like, let them do it and then say, no, you're not doing that. Figure out a way to clean that shit up. Like make, take, take them to task. Don't put a law in place so they can't do it because then they sneak it and it goes on anyway. It's like, I'm not saying get rid of all the laws. That's the adolescent's going to be like, well, what are you saying? What I'm saying is to discern. The you're going after the function as usual. Yes, the function. Because the function behind function. a lot of this is control. It's mass control. And then... Because they want the form. I want a president that looks good, sounds good, treats reporters right. Because the know? function I think that we should be going after is seeing a world where people are free and making the right choices because they've authored that for themselves. And knowing America is about allowing others to be free. I want to be free and you get to be free. Now, if you're infringing on me, let's talk about it because we got to work that out. Not like you can't do it anymore because you're infringing on me. Like people think that language is aggressive now. Hey, that's, you're being aggressive because you said da 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 da. That's not aggressive. Violent. They're even saying language is violent. If you call someone the N word, that's being violent. No, it's not. It's being maybe without compassion and maybe it's being shitty in some way, but it's not violent. It's not violent to call somebody a name. You know, but you if have to you feel it and you're using a different name, it's the function that would matter then. Yeah. Always. It's yeah. like if someone's like looks at you and goes, and you're, you're in an argument and they're like, you know what? I love you. You want to punch him in the fucking face when they say that. Cause you know, you're not being loving and you're trying to make it look, what are you doing? You see what I mean? It's like, no, 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 don't give me that. You know, it's like when people do that or anything like that, I'm like, no, 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 don't give me that syrupy crap. Let's talk about it. And I don't let them go until we work it out. But most of the time at the end, they're like, okay, fine, fine. We're good. No more. I let's agree to disagree. What the fuck is that? Agree to disagree. That's the adolescent trying to move on without changing who they are not allowing somebody to change who you are to change the way you're thinking you're not right when you're not feeling good if you're feeling good you're right but when you're feeling good you don't care if anybody else agrees
getting kind of worked up, huh? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> love my country so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see, how long have you been talking? I think I only have one final question on here, but I just wanted to make sure before we go that if there's anything you want to end on, I know that the last question will be the future creates the present. And so I think just any way that we can end on. Okay. All right. But is there anything other than that you'd want to end on? No, I, 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 I you know, I just wanted that statement out there because I liked it. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay. And so, okay, let me take a break because I'm going to cut in this one. And so my last question is your last statement, the future creates the present, which we did a video on. So I'll link that below. But again, I just think it's a really positive thing. When you, to yeah. stand on. Well, when you don't have a set of values, you don't have your own armature. You're not your own motor when you're raised with somebody else's set of values. An adolescent only has values from the past. So they relive the past. They constantly find people to rail against. They constantly can't find somebody to love because nobody gets me. You know, they're always like trying to do this whole thing because they're not really looking ahead and go, what do I want in my life? I want a loving relationship in my life. So I'm going to be loving to somebody in order to see if I can create love, not try to get them to love me. That's the adolescent who wants to be acknowledged for everything. That's un I want unconditional love. No, the adult is, has conditional love and unconditional love. I have to know which one is appropriate right now. If you're lying to me, I need more conditional love because I've got to pull back my, my unconditional love. It's got to be conditional now because you broke the trust. You broke some trust with me. Now I got to set up a parameter in order to, or you have to earn it now. You're going to have to earn it because you messed up. You see what I'm saying? It's got to be a balance. So the future creates the present is understanding that every human being cannot exist without a future. Your existence is based in the future. Eckhart Tolle does not know what he's talking about. He's taking people down a 100% wrong direction with the way he's seeing the world. The future is all the power you have as a human being is based in the imagination and the way that I can imagine how to get somewhere and not worry about how the steps to getting there are. When they yeah. wanted to go to the moon, they didn't know how they were going to do it. They just wanted to go to the moon. Let's Maybe a, a firework will take us there. Just a big, sophisticated rocket. And it got them there. You know what I mean? They didn't really know how they were going to get there until they decided they were going to get there. And the steps to getting there are the qualities of being there. What are the qualities? Well, we need earth. We need speed. We need... You figure it out and you get there. Well, it's just the whole the thing is designed off the first impulse that I want to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. If I want to eat, I want to go to a restaurant. Where do I want to go? The future is always, you got to go to the bathroom. You're looking for a bath. The moment, the present moment is always dictated by the future. So if you know that, you start imagining what it is you want and you make the choices now that lead me to that future. And I will have that future. Or if I don't, I will run into obstacles keeping me away from that future, which are the Steps to getting there are qualities of being there. And the qualities of being there are the steps. So it's my first blockage is my first step on my way to the moon. Yeah. Well, we need a big gas tank. Well, gasoline would take 3,000 million gallons. But, you know, jet fuel, you need less gas. And it's lighter. Do you understand? That's how they figured it out. One step at a time. So when you decide to go for your dream, you're probably tomorrow going to get stopped whether it's your own mind or your mom or your dad or somebody is going to try to take your dream away. If you're in your adolescence, because the adolescents used to everybody telling them they can't have what they want. So your first block is likely going to be somebody in your reality is going to tell me, Oh, good luck with that. How are you going to do that? Well, I could put you it in imagine it. Well, I can put an example of this because it's like during quarantine, I made a big purchase and then I also decided I'm going to buy a Mercedes in September. And the pushback immediately was like, ooh, this isn't the right time to be doing that or ooh. And so I was like, oh, I need to process that, not reframe. So why am I getting the feedback right now that's telling me I shouldn't go after my dream? So anyways, I just thought like bringing that yeah, up. Because exactly. It is important for you to be dreaming right now. You are supposed to, like you 100% yeah. if you're watching this channel are supposed to be dreaming and seeing a positive future. The so goddess. So you're doing that and you get the feedback that like, should you be doing that? What else should you be doing? Imagining it going to shit? Well, that's, that's what, what you're doing now by watching the conspiracy theories, watching all the crazy ways it's going to break. 
It's like, they're looking for how am I going to figure out how it's going to break? And then what am I going to do? Yes. Not instead of no, I've taken this time to have a lot of time to think yes. about what matters to me. Yes. What matters to me? I love that being the last part of what you wrote and the last part of this video, because it's like the future is being created right now. And so when you're at home and you're wondering what to do, this is it. It's like, however you imagine, however you create through your mind, your future, like do that, make a practice of it every day. Like for me, I'm trying to do waking now as I'm walking. I'm just realizing like my future is going to be amazing. God like, earns through earning. The goddess earns through imagining. <laughs> she perceives and conceives. The feminine creates spaces. The masculine just fills them. And the feminine creates a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one. And that's why the universe is an expansive. No matter how much room everything needs, there's always more. No matter how much water, there's always more. Nature is in perfect harmony. Yes, it's abundance. So it's like yeah. any kind of an idea, like it's not enough, like just catch yourself. Like the world is so abundant. It's so abundant. It's the most abundant world we've ever lived in. And right now there's world peace. Right this moment, the world is at peace. Mm -hmm. Except if you're watching the media, they're going to keep you out of peace because they are manipulating you. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. All I know is I know that I'm breaking that system down right well, now. Yeah, it's red pill and blue pill. Don't yeah. take one. Learn how to take both. Always learn how to be more complex. Don't just go, like you always say, dogma. Don't yeah. do that. Watch CNN and then watch Fox. <laughs> you know what I mean? Watch what their agenda is and watch what the other agenda is. Don't go, one, yeah, 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 because you're projecting father on him or you're projecting baby boomer on him whatever you're projecting is your process you're well, not going to feel good thing is doing like that. you want to be informed but like your advice in the video that we made before this one the one that's linked below on the virus being explained metaphysically you made it very clear you need to do what's right for you and i think that's so important it's like take the information because for me i'm still reading about the virus i'm getting information but i'm very aware i'm not going to just follow this because the government told me or a scientist told me or this person told me you have to take in the data and you have to author your experience for yourself and right now uh, my self-authorship is using this beautiful gift of time to just be home, to receive, to regroup, to like create what I want, and really just to receive this gift. Yeah, my imagination. this is a gift. It's, that's why I know it's splitting right now. Yeah. Because whenever a big change happens, chaos causes you to push in the clutch. Yeah. And the whole world pushed in the clutch. So that doesn't happen. It's never happened in my lifetime or anybody else's that I've read. So therefore, Reality is demonstrating to me that we're splitting. It's splitting right now. I knew it was going to split. I didn't know what it was going to look like because I wasn't even myself imagining it well enough. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted the split. I wanted a new reality. I, I was focused on that and I got it and I got it in a way that I was like, oh shit, I guess I didn't imagine as well as I could have. But nope, no problem. I can take it as it is. Yeah. I can do it as it is. And so, yeah, the goddess... What, what has to come back into play in humanity is working from values and bringing the feminine back into our lives, bringing nature back into our lives. Like everywhere, dude, there's turkeys all over my freaking coyotes, like running around the neighborhood. It's amazing. Hi. I know, right? And I'm all excited she's in here. Yeah, people are like, they shouldn't be here. Those animals are coming because it's quiet enough for them to come check it out, you know? But anyway, well, is that? Good? I love having this chat with you, Rick. Yeah. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, if this is your first video, just check out our channel, all the links below. And definitely, if you have any questions, want to connect with Rick, like we've got time. So leave us any comment. Rick always responds to everybody. And um, if you like this content, let us know because while we're going to be at home for maybe the next month, I'd be happy to, you know, interview you on other things because that's really, I think, even a way this channel came about. I just loved going over to Rick's and asking him questions and taking notes. And so 
um, that really makes me happy thinking that we could just make videos like this and I ask you questions and everybody else gets to see. So yeah, yeah that's see. awesome. Thank you, because I wouldn't have made one, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I just like the quote I did. I just, I want to want to push that out there. I was like, just, can we just like show Keanu Reeves for a minute and have a video with the music and have the quote yeah. up? Like, I was like, that's good enough, right? <laughs> like, no, let's talk about it. Yeah. Nice. But anyhow, thanks again to everybody that's uh, subscribed to our channel. It's kind of a nice yeah, opportunity. Thank you. I, I hope this is helpful. I also, you know, know I'm going to push people's buttons, but I'm pushing them. I love, I'm pushing them so you can see yourself. So you can see yourself as clearly as I can push them. Yeah. It's not to antagonize you. It's not to make you angry. It's just to get you understanding. If you want a beautiful future, you got to figure out how to have it now. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody take care and uh, we'll hopefully talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.